Currently, we brought some advisors out from 2nd SVAB to advise 18th fires on their field operations. And we're trying to help them learn small unit tactics and also platoon tactics so that they can broaden their horizon as well on tactical knowledge. We try to do PCCs and PCIs. What this does is ensures uh, optimum success in the field and to ensure that they have all of their equipment and gear so that they can accomplish any mission that comes at hand. I'm assigned as the platoon sergeant. Uh, I'm honestly, I don't know what's going to happen, what they have in store for us. It's a good group of guys out here. I trust the team, you know, to perform very well out here. Once, uh, once we get out, uh, I think they'll do great. Actually, it was really uh, myself. I reached out to the 2nd SVAB Brigade Sergeant Major, uh, Sergeant Major Paul Fedoris, and uh, we were classmates together. And the reason that we wanted to coordinate this training was is I noticed a need for small unit tactics that needed to be brought into the organization so that way the soldiers, and officers, NCOs uh, can be able to defend themselves and survive in a large scale combat environment in the event, you know, they don't have a vehicle that it goes down or a launcher goes down. I really wanted them to be able to, to survive in general. So this afternoon we started uh, with 18 FA, just going over formations, order, and movement, and uh, react to contact with uh, small units, so squad size elements. We practice basic infantry formations like a wedge, a stagger formation how to properly go to a halt, get accountability, set uh, your firing azimuths for your guys. Everyone's taking it in stride, everyone's trying their best. I'm having fun, even though it's kind of hard to tell, but I am having fun doing something new, something fun, being able to run around the woods, you know. We spent the night here last night. Uh, it, was, it was great. We set up our little patrol base, right? And then right now, our high march guys are going over how they would dismount in case of like in case their trucks got blown up or whatnot. High mars would be targeted by the enemy because of the capabilities that a high mars has, right? The range that they have, the destructive power that it has. And so learning these kinds of things is is really good for us because if we are targeted and the vehicle is destroyed, we can still operate as individual soldiers. Overall, this training has really dusted off the cobwebs. I've really appreciated their, their hands-on teaching style that they've been showing us. I wish a lot of people knew uh, the capabilities we have. We have different MOSs on every different team, and we can teach a lot of different things and help out in a lot of different ways that people don't know about. I think we're qualified to teach a lot of things because we have all senior, senior enlisted and officers, so everybody is, for the most part, a senior E5 or a staff sergeant and above. We have a lot of experience coming to everything that we teach.